great. This is, uh, I can't believe it's actually here. Fuck me. Okay, here we go. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to the Nerdgasm. You can see this is a really special episode of the Nerdgasm. Uh, we have the PlayStation 5. Three, two, here we go. Beautiful. And stop. Holy. Hello, nerds, and welcome back to the Nerdgasm. As always, I am your host, Charles Fernandez. As you can see, I am joined by a very important guest. That's right. We are celebrating a very important birthday. I can't believe it. It's been a year already. We have been through a lot together already in a year. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. On this issue of the Nerdgasm, we're looking back at one year with the PlayStation 5. And uh, what a year it's been, man. Yeah. You know, we've had some really good times. We've been through a lot together. Yeah. Yeah, and you fucking love it. You fucking love it. That's why I do it, okay? Because you fucking love it. Here we are, one year later. The PS5 is officially Sony's fastest selling console ever and still the hardest console to find. And I have one. So let's enjoy me enjoying the PlayStation 5. Let's look at some of the biggest differences with the PlayStation 5 since its launch last year. I think the biggest thing making everyone freak out is you can finally expand the SSD space in the console. Something that is really important for how massive game files are now and being that I have the digital edition, space is more important than ever. I haven't expanded the SSD on mine yet, but you bet your ass I plan to. I'm just waiting for a really good deal because SSDs are fucking expensive. Seriously, you can almost buy another PS5 with the cost of it. Oh no, wait, you can't because nobody has any PS5s. <laughs> that was a wicked burn. <laughs> oh. I mean, it had all the elements. You didn't see it coming. Parts of it really hurt. It's also so quiet when it operates. I've pushed this baby all day, and still no noise or performance issues. I remember my PS4 sounding like it was going to explode while playing The Last of Us 2, but I've never even come close to an experience like that playing everything on the PS5. I guess this big ass bitch design really was for the fan, and totally worth it. I think my favorite thing about the PlayStation 5 experience so far is the addition of the haptic feedback with the controllers. It's such a huge advancement to the gaming experience and I look forward to it most whenever I'm playing anything. Not every game utilizes this feature, but the ones that do, it is just fucking incredible. I think the best game to fully test out everything haptic feedback has to offer is Astro's Playroom. It's such a fun and well-developed game and not only celebrates everything PlayStation, but immerses the controller like no other game I've played yet. If you have a PS5 and you haven't played this game, you're insane. It is completely free. Just do it. I think the first year of the PlayStation 5 was pretty good. You know? Pretty, 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 Why? pretty good. I had a lot of fun replaying some of my favorite PS4 games. 
with them all receiving PS5 performance enhancements, and in some cases, full re-releases for the PlayStation 5. And of course, the PS5 exclusives were fantastic. Lots of good gaming moments and surprises. I recently finished my playthrough of Deathloop, and it was very surprising. I'll be going into more details with that game on the next issue of the Nerdgasm, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. While the first year the PS5 had some solid moments, I want and need so much more. We need more exclusives, more haptic feedback, more orgies, all of it. We need more. What? What was the last one? And it definitely looks like the future of the PS5 is very exciting. We got the sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn with Horizon Forbidden West, which is quite funny because I always knew it as the Forbidden South, but hey, I'll fuck around with the West. I don't care. We also have the sequel to God of War with God of War Ragnarok on the way next year. I'm so excited for that one. And Venom. We officially got our first look at Venom on the way from Spider-Man. I'm so fucking pumped. Yes. We will. It's never been a better time to be a gamer. Make sure to check out all my other gaming videos on the channel, and you want to make sure to stay tuned for my review of Deathloop coming up next. YouTube.com slash CFBomb to keep the party going. All right, and there you have it. There is my quick little highlight reel and review of the first year with the PlayStation 5. I am absolutely fucking loving this beast of a console. I fucking love you. So, uh, if you weren't sure already, I think it goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it, this console is officially nerd approved. You know, I don't usually do this, but uh, you're getting a 10, baby. You are getting a 10 out of 10. Yeah, who's my girl? Who's my girl with the... The future of the Nerdgasm, the future of the PlayStation 5 looks really good. So you want to make sure you guys subscribe. Literally hit subscribe here, there, fucking anywhere you see it. Just hit subscribe and then we become best friends. That's right. Thank you so much for stopping by and we'll see you next time on the Nerdgasm. Boo! Yeah. So seriously, how do we do this? Do you want me to keep putting my tongue in all the back parts, or do you want to maybe let me get in front here and get in one of your front little parts there? Oh, what's that do? Yeah, <laughs> you are a saucy. God damn it. I say cut. Did I say cut? I didn't say cut. Well, then we're keeping this. Ugh.